hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And I hope you've subscribed as well or I'll be coming to pay you a visit. <laughs> You hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, still the voice of hardcore boxing. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <clears throat> so Right then, let's have a look at uh, what scripts we've done. Let's have a look. Done seven scripts, I'm just trying to think what we can talk about. It's now in my look, I'll probably put a video out and uh, while it's being processed and jazzed up, <laughs> something will happen and I'll be made to look foolish over the next 24 hours, 48 hours or something. So, I think what we'll do, we'll call this one, Why Won't Certain Fighters Roll the Dice Unless the Reward is Massive? Well, there's two sides of coin, isn't there, to that. For example, uh, for example, Billy Joe Saunders. No, he's never fought anybody elite yet, has he? You know, he's beat a, you know, two or three guys that are, you know, that are world, world champion or former world champion or future world champion. Andy Lee, won a world champion, but a light middleweight. Uh, but he, he won a belt at middleweight. The other one, Eubank, British champion, but Eubank ended up winning an IBO, didn't he? whether you call that a world title or not, I do. The other one, David Lemieux, a former champion. So you've got a champion, a former and a future. Billy Joe beat all them guys and he beat them all on points because that's what his style does. His style's there to frustrate you, pick you off and put money in the bank. Just like he probably is in life, putting points on the total to get a, a decision win now, he's probably doing that in life with his money. Same as Tyson Fury, they're piling money up. Tyson piles rounds up like he piles money up. Their styles are not there to ice you. They don't knock people out. So, who's Tyson knocked out, who's elite? He stopped Derek Chisora, but he's not elite, is he? So, this is my opinion. Uh, but I just think that Billy Joe Saunders needs to roll the dice now. He's got to have this Canelo fight May the second, and that for him is the end game. But who got him there? Who got him there? Now, with Dazone getting Canelo, Frank Warren knew the game were up, didn't he? So you know he'll probably have settle out a court job, but don't quote me on that. But if Billy Joe doesn't fight Canelo on May the 2nd, I can't get behind him. Unless he fights Callum Smith. Now, it's just my opinion. I'm entitled to it. Moving on to Callum Smith. Well, why doesn't he roll the dice? Let's have a look who he's beat. Who? He beat an injured Groves. They won't, they won't let Groves have another couple of months to get his shoulder right. So they made him go through with fight in Jeddah. Two English guys fighting a final in Jeddah. Why were that? Because they wanted paying. The end game is money. All right. Joe Gallagher has wrapped his fighters in cotton wool. Now, when have we ever seen Joe Gallagher roll the dice? Paul Smith against Andre Ward. What was that? Paul Smith never had a prayer against Andre Ward. But you know it were. Joe's way of saying, let's just get a payday. He won't put Callum Smith near Kovalev or Bivol or anybody who can punch, but yet he'll put Paul Smith in with Andre Ward. 
Because that were really a gimme fight for Andre Ward, wasn't it? But he put Leafy Smith, Beefy Smith in with Canelo, didn't he, Joe Gallagher? Why? Because they got paid, didn't they, against Canelo? They got paid. But the moral of the story is this. Who else had Beefy Smith beat? They weren't rolling the dice, were they? Beefy Smith's got an elite win on his record, but yet got an elite loss on his record. But he's, he, he has got a fight that he was in with somebody elite. Billy Joe hasn't, has he? Billy, Billy Joe's not fought anybody elite. Tyson Fury fought Vladimir, he were elite. So you've got to give Tyson Fury credit. But they timed it right, didn't they? They were knocking the fight back for three, four years leading up to that. That's a true story. Tyson Fury were offered that fight after they beat Chisora at first time. They wanted to get him early, didn't they? But he timed it right. He fought a guy a couple of months before his 40th birthday. He doesn't get any better than that, does it? He doesn't get any better than that. But this will be Tyson Fury's third elite fight. You know, he's fought Vladimir Wilder. He's fighting Wilder again. So, so far he's one, you know, when a draw in elite fights. But this is an elite fight at the weekend. But I want to see more fighters rolling the dice instead of just padding records out. I don't want to see padded records. Roll the dice. Roll the dice to get into the mix. Frotz lost against Andre Ward on points. They rolled the dice straight away against Boutte. Am I right? After that, it was pay-per-view all the way. All the way. Roll the dice. There's too many people getting involved with this dice not being rolled. Joe Gallagher, I am blaming for Callum Smith's lacklust CV. Billy Joe's probably his own manager, I don't know. Or MTK, we don't know, but I'd like to see Billy Joe against Canelo, and I think they can do it. If Tyson's fighting Wilder this Saturday, and it looks like he's going to do it, Billy Joe Saunders will be fighting Canelo. So they've got there, aren't they? By hook or by crook, but Tyson and Billy Joe don't take risks unless the reward is massive. That's just how it is. They're the ones in the ring, aren't they? They're the ones in the ring. But this is how I look at it, right? Canelo against Billy Joe Saunders is a great fight, but I'm not sure what Carl Frotch is on about saying that Billy Joe can beat Canelo. I don't, I don't know where he's coming from with that. Is it because he was stood talking to Billy Joe? I don't know. I don't think Billy Joe Saunders can beat Canelo. No. He might be able to outbox him, but he's just not going to get the win, is he, out there? He's got to knock Canelo out. So expect press conferences with Billy Joe saying, I'm going for the knockout. Because he's Fury going for knockout. <laughs> no. No, leopards don't change the spots approach in the 32nd birthday, do they? When they've been fighting in a certain style all their lives. So like asking Marvin Agler, is he, all of a sudden, is he going to fight like Ray Leonard? No. He ain't, is he? So, but I want to see people taking risks. I want to see managers and people that are controlling boxers keep the snouts out and just let the fights be made. That's what I want to see. I want to see good fights. That's what we want. But Callum Smith's career so far has been very disappointing. But he's ended up a multi-millionaire. Multi Sufly swimming in Chochai. Callum Smith, he's even got a ring magazine belt. God, they timed that well, didn't they? I mean, look at the fights that Callum Smith's not, not had. He didn't mention Benavitas' his name. He were mandatory when Anthony Dirrell were going to fight him. Who were the other one who were going to fight? There's more than a few that Callum Smith's not fought. They just don't fancy it. No, there's another one that he were going to fight and he hadn't. But. We'll get back to that shortly. But like I said, I want to see fighters rolling the dice and just having a go. And I'm sure your promoter will bring you back. He's got if he's got if he's got confidence in you, he will. People lose fights and the promoters bring them back. Clinton Woods lost against Dave Starry, and people thought it would end at World. And then he said, "No, this is just the beginning." Promote, if a promoter likes you, he'll bring you back. If you're good enough, 
you'll get there. But you've got to take risks, all right? David Lemieux isn't a risk, all right? Hassan and Dam isn't a risk. Roll the dice. John Ryder, we'll get to that one in a minute. So, peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing, all right? Shout out to Steve Wellings on the Boxing Asylum. How are you doing, Stephen? Hope you're well. I'm waiting for you to come in hot seat. You're welcome on my channel anytime, Stephen. You've got my number. Give me a ring. All right? Peace. You like that one, didn't you? Right, first of all, I just want to say thank you very much for liking and subscribing. It means a lot to me. Because uh, we're on this journey together, aren't we? So, anybody got any ideas for the channel, fire them over to me. PorkyCorner at mail.com. Alright? Shout out to Innovation Alloys and South Yorkshire Packaging. Alright? Don't forget to subscribe, keep on trucking.